Okay. Okay. When flying in strong turbulence, an airplane may be subjected for a very short period to negative G. At less than zero G, the fluid flow may be disrupted in some circuits. There may be issues with engines operation, fuel feeding and transfer, oil and hydraulic systems, etc. Tests are carried out to check that the aircraft continues to operate properly and that everything returns to normal quickly when exiting these negative G conditions. The regulations for flight at less than zero G are slightly different in the United States and in Europe. The demonstrations performed by the manufacturers cover the requirements for all countries. During a single flight, the aircraft has to be flown during a total of 20 seconds at less than zero G, including a continuous period of at least seven seconds with maximum thrust. Another test requires a maneuver containing at least two excursions to less than zero G in rapid succession in which the total time in negative G is at least five seconds. The tests are performed with a low amount of fuel, representative of the end of an operational flight. For other fluids, such as oil and hydraulic, the demonstrations are performed with minimum and maximum levels of fluids in different flights. For these tests, a specific preparation of the airplane is needed. All equipment on board must be properly secured. On a specific display, the pilot monitors the load factor obtained from the flight test installation. He may also observe it on the ECAM display. As obviously the aircraft cannot be flown upside down, Specific maneuvers are performed to demonstrate the requirements. At medium altitude, the aircraft is accelerated toward its maximum operating speed, VMO, with maximum thrust. When approaching VMO, a pull-up is performed, until close to the pitch attitude protection, which is set at 30 degrees. Then the pilot pushes smoothly on the stick until obtaining a negative G. He monitors the load factor on the display and keeps it slightly below zero. After seven seconds in negative G, he slowly pulls on the stick to recover normal flight conditions. The engine not under test is set at low thrust when pushing on the stick. The engine under test is kept at maximum continuous thrust until full recovery for the various systems. The target is not to expose all engines to negative G with the same thrust. For the maneuver with two excursions to less than zero G in rapid succession, after being stabilized in negative G for some seconds, the pilot pulls slightly on the stick to let the load factor go just above zero, monitoring the G-meter. As soon as the load factor is positive, he pushes forward again for a new brief sequence in negative G. Then the test is over and he can recover. The first maneuver with shorter periods in negative G is repeated several times, until a total of minimum 20 seconds at less than zero G during the flight has been achieved. There may be various warnings during these maneuvers. They should disappear quickly after the recovery. All systems are checked carefully after each sequence with a load factor at less than zero G. This negative G test is performed on new programs. It is not necessary to repeat it on variants if the engines and the various systems, fuel, electricity, hydraulic, etc., are not modified. 